The Transform Points tool is used to move, scale, or rotate a group of selected points. If you don't have any points selected, the Transform Points tool will operate on the point that you click. You can also select multiple points with the Select Points tool and then use the Transform Points tool to change the shape of an object. Or, click inside an object with the Transform Points tool to select all of the points in the object and then translate, rotate, or scale the entire object. To translate selected points, simply drag your mouse to move the points to a new position. To rotate selected points, first select two or more points to rotate. Here we click the star to select all of its points. To rotate a selection, position the cursor in the area between the two bounding rectangles. Then drag up, down, left or right to rotate the selected points. You can also select some of the points in an object and rotate them to change the shape. Any changes that you make on a frame other than zero will be animated over time. You can enter a numerical value in the rotation field and then click Apply to rotate the selected points by that amount. The Flip Horizontal and Flip Vertical buttons will flip the selected points along the horizontal or vertical axis. To scale an object equally in height and width, drag from one of the corner handles on the inner bounding box. To scale an object horizontally, drag from one of the side handles. To scale an object vertically, drag from the top or bottom handle. Press the Alt key while you scale to maintain the volume of the object. When you increase the height, the width decreases. When you increase the width, the height decreases. The Scale X and Scale Y fields allow you to scale the selection numerically. For example, to double the size, enter a value of 2. Then click Apply to scale the selection to the new values. To change the shape of an object over time, first select some of the points with the Select Points tool. Move to later frames in the timeline and make other changes. To view the animation, scrub through the timeline or press the play button. 